When you are issued a parking or photo enforcement ticket in the District of Columbia, there are three ways to contest the ticket. Number one, online. Number two, by mail. Or number three, in person. Please note, if you want to contest a ticket, you must not pay the fine and or penalty. You cannot contest a ticket once you have paid the fine and or penalty, and you cannot request a refund. You have 60 calendar days to contest your ticket. You must pay or contest your ticket within 30 calendar days from the date the ticket was issued for a parking ticket or mailed to you for a photo enforcement ticket. This means DC DMV must actually receive the payment or adjudication request by day 30. If you do not respond to the ticket within 30 days, the ticket fines double, i.e. receive a penalty, on the 31st calendar day from the date the ticket was issued or mailed. Even though the ticket doubles on day 31, you still have up to 60 calendar days from the date the ticket was issued or mailed to contest your ticket. The response due date is on the lower left-hand side of the ticket of a photo enforcement ticket. If you contest the ticket between 31 and 60 calendar days, you may be found liable for both the fine and penalty. Remember, the penalty is the same amount as the ticket fine. For example, if the original ticket fine is $50 and you do not pay or contest the ticket by day 31 of it being issued or mailed, then a $50 penalty will be added, making the total fine $100. Let's take a closer look at each way you can contest a ticket. If the ticket is more than 60 calendar days old, you may ask DC DMV if you may still contest the ticket by filing a motion to vacate. The motion to vacate must be received by DC DMV within 120 calendar days from the ticket's issue date for parking tickets or mail date for photo enforcement tickets. The form is located on the forms page of our website. You may contest parking or photo enforcement tickets online within 60 calendar days from the date the ticket was issued. Or, in the case of a photo enforcement ticket, the date the ticket was mailed to you. You will be asked to provide a written explanation for why you were contesting the ticket. You should also upload any supporting documentation you have such as photographs, vehicle registration, or receipts. You will be asked to provide an email address. DC DMV will reply to that email address when we receive your form contesting the ticket. If you do not receive an email confirmation from DC DMV, we have not received your request to contest the ticket and you should resubmit the online form. A DC DMV hearing examiner will read your explanation and review any documentation you submitted. The hearing examiner will decide whether or not you must pay the ticket fine or the ticket fine and the penalty. Once a hearing examiner renders a decision, DC DMV will notify you by mailing the hearing record to your address of record from the motor vehicle agency where the vehicle is registered. If you have a DC DMV email ticket alert service, TAS, account, you will receive an email telling you a decision on your ticket has been made. The process to contest a ticket may take several months before a hearing examiner decision is made. If you contest a ticket by regular mail, DCDMV must receive your documentation no later than 60 calendar days from the date the ticket was issued, or, in the case of a photo enforcement ticket, the date the ticket was mailed to you. If your documentation is received between calendar days 31 and 60, a penalty will be assessed, equal to the initial fine, meaning the ticket will double. If you are held liable for the ticket at this point, you will be responsible for the initial ticket fine plus the penalty. Complete the information on the back of the ticket. Mail a copy of the ticket, Mail Adjudication Form, located in the Forms section of our website, and supporting documentation to DC DMV Adjudication Services, Attention Mail Adjudication, P.O. Box, 37135, Washington, D.C., 20013. You also have the option of a walk-in hearing to contest your parking or photo enforcement ticket. 
All hearings are conducted at DCDMV's Adjudication Services Office, located at 955 L'Enfant Plaza Southwest. You cannot make an appointment for a hearing on parking and photo enforcement tickets. These hearings are held on a walk-in basis only. However, you must be the registered owner of the vehicle, or the owner must authorize you to act on his or her behalf by completing and signing the power of attorney form. The form is located in the form section of our website at www.dmv.dc.gov. Please note, the power of attorney form must be notarized. If you walk in for a hearing in the first 30 calendar days from the date the ticket was issued, or in the case of a photo enforcement ticket, the date the ticket was mailed to you, you will owe the original ticket fine if the hearing examiner finds you liable for the ticket. If you walk in between 31 and 60 calendar days after the date the ticket was issued, or in the case of a photo enforcement ticket, the date the ticket was mailed to you, you will owe the original ticket fine and a penalty equal to the fine amount if the hearing examiner finds you liable for the ticket. When contesting a parking ticket, there are seven defenses for parking violations that are allowed by District of Columbia law. Number one, you were not the owner or lessee of the cited vehicle at the time of the infraction. Number two, the cited vehicle or its state registration plates were stolen at the time of the violation. Number three, the relevant signs prohibiting or restricting parking were missing or obscured. Number four, the relevant parking meter was inoperable or malfunctioned through no fault of the person who received the ticket. Number five, the facts alleged on the parking violation notice are inconsistent or do not support a finding that the specified regulation was violated. Number six, the vehicle was suddenly mechanically disabled, provided that the vehicle was removed as soon as practicable. Or, number seven, the operator suddenly needed immediate medical assistance, proof of medical attention required. Your parking ticket can be dismissed only if you present one of these seven defenses and you provide evidence to support your claim at the time you contest your ticket. I've mentioned documentation a few times. Let's take a closer look at what that means. Documentation is the evidence to support your claim. When contesting the ticket, it's imperative that you provide evidence to support your claim. For example, if you state your car was stolen, you must present a copy of the full police report which lists the tag number. If you say your car suddenly experienced a mechanical breakdown and had to be towed, you must present a repair receipt from a mechanic and a tow receipt. Hard copies of documents are required when you can test the ticket in person or by mail. If you can test online, then upload the documents. And hearing examiners will not view photos or videos stored on your electronic devices, including cell phones, since the photos must be scanned into the system as evidence. No matter what your defense, remember to be as thorough as possible. Hearing examiners do not have access to data from other DC government agencies or DMVs in other jurisdictions. Let's recap. There are three ways to contest your parking or photo enforcement ticket. Number one, online. Number two, by mail. Or number three, in person. You have 60 calendar days to contest your ticket. However, ticket fines double on the 31st day. If you choose to contest your ticket, do not pay the fine or the penalty. Be sure to provide evidence for your claim. Remember, the process to contest a ticket may take some time, so don't panic if you don't receive the hearing examiner's decision right away. Please visit DC's DMV's website at dmv.dc.gov for more detailed information. Thanks for watching.